what will win in a tug of war between the new Land Rover Defender and an old Land Rover Defender, though an old Land Rover Defender with a difference. You see, this one is electric powered because it's got the motor and the batteries from a Tesla Model S 100D. It's gonna be very interesting. We're gonna find out. Before we do though, please make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit the bell icon to turn your notifications on. That way you won't miss one of these crazy uploads because we're gonna be doing more of these mad tugs of war. Also, if you're thinking about buying a new car, don't forget to check out CarWow. And we've also got a new service through CarWow where you can sell your car through us. All you have to do is go to CarWow. In fact, click on the pop-out banner up there. You can go on, put in the details of your car, upload some photos, and you'll get five great offers back on your old car from our trusted dealers. And you can pick which one you want to sell your car to, and they'll come and pick it up and take it away and give you the cash. It's dead simple. Anyway, I'm Matt Watson, and you're watching CarWow. Buying a new car? Then head to CarWow, and my team will help you find your next car at a fair price. CarWow, your one-stop car buying comparison site. Right, let me tell you about this car. You hear that? That's a diesel engine. A three litre straight six turbo, 250 horsepower and 570 newton metres of torque. So plenty of pulling power. Drives all four wheels by an eight speed automatic gearbox with low range mode. It's got electronically controlled centre and rear locking diffs as well. And very, very clever traction control system. It's gonna be interesting. Weighs in at just over 2.2 tonnes. This car with this engine starts from around 50,000 pounds. Though with options, the exact one I have here, 60,000 pounds. It's good at towing though this and great in tugs of war so it's gonna be interesting to see what happens so let me tell you about the electric defender wait a minute what is this witchcraft there's no diesel engine here instead we've got a big battery pack this is a 60 kilowatt hour battery pack at the rear there's a 40 kilowatt hour battery pack together 100 kilowatt hours of battery pack from a tesla model s 100d it's also got the motor from that vehicle though it's centrally mounted and connected to that is a torque sensing limited slip differential and a prop shaft going forward one going backwards and then you've got a torque sensing limited slip diff on the front axle and the rear axle in terms of the output of the motor 450 horsepower so more power than the new Defender. However, torque is less at 450 newton meters, and that could affect things in terms of the pulling power. So could the weight. Believe it or not, this is actually lighter than the new Defender, despite the batteries and stuff like that. Weighs in at around two tons, though there's not much body work. Having said that though, this, this is rather heavy. I'll put this down. That's down. There's one gear in this, no low range mode, though there is an off-road mode which softens the throttle response because being electric, you get instant torque, which could be a good thing in terms of shocking that car, like silly taking up the strain, or a bad thing causing this to lose traction. Though this does have quite knobbly tyres, a bit more aggressive the tyres are on this than on the new Defender, which are more road biased tyres. Hmm, how's this all gonna play out? Well, we're going to find out. I'm going to drive the Defender and we're going to get the chap who built this car, Richard Morgan, who owns Electric Classic Cars. He's going to be driving this. Now, if you want to find out more about all the conversions he does, because as the name suggests, he converts classic cars to electric power, you can find out more by following his Instagram channel, which I put in the description below. So go check that out. Anyway, let's get on with the tug of war. So this is how it's going to play out. We have attached this heavy duty rope to the tow hitch, this electric defender. As you'll see, here is the center point with the tug of war marking triangle. It's not a warning triangle at all. It is specifically designed for this video. Now this is attached to the electrically deployable tow hitch of the new defender. How switch is that? When I say take the strain, we're gonna balance the cars just on the throttle, get this rope nice and taut, then I'll three, two, one, go it, and we'll just do whatever we need to do to win. Whichever car pulls the other one backwards and to that warning triangle wins. It is as simple as that. Let's do it. Hey Richard, I've got a quick question for you. I've put my car in low range mode and I've got it in like the grass, mud and snow setting for traction. Are you going in your off-road mode or are you just going to go full power craziness? I'm just going off-road mode. There's no point putting it in full mode. It's just not going to grip. Okay then Richard, let's just take the strain. Let's get this rope taut. Now I'm going to call it in. Three, two, one, tug! Come on. Oh yes, modern Land Rover. Here we go, got him now. Yeah, I won that. The traction control on this is so good. I could see you spinning up your wheels, even though you've got knobbly tires. They were digging into the grass and flicking bits up, but the traction control in this, combined with the fact it's heavier and heavier does matter, means I won.
But I understand you have another competitor that you brought along, which might give you an advantage, especially in the weight department. Richard has now graded to this. It is a Spectre Land Rover Defender. So it's designed to look like the Land Rover Defender from the James Bond film Spectre. So widened wheel arches, this roll cage, roof rack, all that kind of stuff. Importantly though, it's got knobbly tires, even more knobbly than the other ones. So they should really dig into this ground. Thing about this though, is that it's heavy. It's 2.6 tons. So heavier than that new Defender, and that matters in a tug of war. It doesn't have any more power or torque than the other electric Land Rover is just driving though. So the same 450 horsepower and 450 Newton meters. Let's see what happens. Okay then Richard, I see you've now brought a gun to a gunfight. Do you think this is gonna give you the advantage? Well, there's only one way to find out, Matt. He's right about that. I'm gonna stick with my same settings. So low range and muddy, slippery, grassy, snowy stuff. Do you have an off-road mode in that one, like in the other Defender? No, it's just one mode and it's all out mode. So you're just going to put your power down and uh, you'll either grip and pull me backwards or you'll spin up and go backwards yourself? Yeah, either way you're going to get covered in mud. Okay, this could look good. Showing that we're actually in the middle of a cloud because we're on a hill in Wales. All right then, shall we take the strain? Okay, three, two, one, tug. <laughs> Oh, that's the way to do it. I'm done. I'm not going anywhere, I don't think. Wait, can I? No. I think you won that. That's the way to win that, mate. Step to the floor. I don't mind losing <laughs> when it looks that good when you get defeated. That was mental. That just chewed into the earth. I think my defender might be a bit dirty around his rear end now. Sorry, that sounds dodgy. You know what I mean. I know what you mean, but I ain't cleaning your rear end, mate. <laughs> Why not? Look at this, you can see where he pulled me all the way back to this triangle. My traction control system was working away, trying to do things smoothly. He just planted his foot <laughs> and he chewed up the earth. Look, it's like he's been, <laughs> he's been plowing this field. Oh dear, I'm glad I've not got to clean this off. It's like he's been mowing and he's just covered his entire vehicle in it. Look at all this. This is utterly nuts, but you've got to see this bit here. You can see these black marks from where he's spinning up his wheels. Once mine started to hook again, but it was too late for me at that point. And there's four identical identical burnt marks in the ground because if his diff's obviously working perfectly just stopping the power being wasted just by one wheel that's lost traction oh my god that was utterly epic if you want to check out more videos like this make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit the bell icon to turn your notifications on and if you want to find out more about this vehicle and other ev conversions from richard and electric classic cars check out their instagram in the description Whew. I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a like. Let me know some other videos you want to see in the comments below. Click on those windows there for more videos and click on that box there to go to CarWow to see how much you can get for your old car that you're selling. Yeah, check it out there. It's completely free, this service.